This is Total Growth Investing, where price growth is not enough. Dividend growth is not enough. We want to identify stocks, funds, and other investments that perform well in both of these measurements. Because when we find them and buy them, we can beat the market over the long term. I have done 32 videos for this channel so far, and I'm starting to see patterns and connections between stocks, funds, indices, and the companies behind them. Right now, the number three security on my total growth investment ranked watch list is iShares US Home Construction ETF. The symbol is ITB. ITB is an ETF launched on May 1st, 2006, and is managed by BlackRock Fund Advisors. It is based on the Dow Jones U.S. Select Home Construction Index, which is an index managed by S&P Dow Jones Indices, a subsidiary of S&P Global, which is a company that I reviewed in June of 2000 because at the time it was within the top 10 of my TGI stocks. I've also done a video on the top holding of this fund, DR Horton, DHI. This is one of the largest home builders in the country, and several of the other companies in the component list of ITB were on the list of top home builders that I shared in that video. Here's an update of that chart showing the gross revenue of leading home builders in the U.S. in 2020 from Statista. DR Horton has taken the lead, and let's see if they can stay out in front. I have done videos about SP Global, Vanguard, and some of the other large financial players. But iShares is a set of funds from one of the largest players in the financial world, BlackRock. Time to dig into this giant and see what all the fuss is about. When I did my video about Vanguard Information Technology back in October 2020, I mentioned a bit about the history of that fund, that the specific index that they had been tracking since 2010 is the MSCI U.S. Investable Market Index Information Technology 2550 Index, a really long name. MSCI, or Morgan Stanley Capital International, is one of the big companies managing dozens of stock market indices. MSCI Incorporated is actually another stock on the TGI list currently ranked at number 90. Their work started in 1969 with the Developed Market Indexes, DM, which were followed in 1987 with the Emerging Market Index, in 1995 with the All Country Indices, and every few years with yet another collection, category, resource, etc. Like any company, they keep growing and changing their products and services to find the customer demand, and their customers are the largest wealth management organizations in the world. In response to State Street's Standard & Poor Depository Receipts Fund, SPY, in 1993, Morgan Stanley launched a set of ETFs that they called World Equity Benchmark Shares, or WEBS. They did this in collaboration with Barclays Global Investors. In 2000, they expanded their ETF offerings with 40 new funds that they branded iShares. Webs was quickly renamed iShares MSCI Series because that marketing campaign was a success. In 2006, they bought the ETF unit of Hypoverensbank, the fifth largest financial institution in Germany making iShares the leading ETF provider in Europe as well as the U.S. In 2009, Barclays was getting ready to sell iShares to CVC Capital Partners. But in June of that year, BlackRock presented a bid for the entire Barclays Global Investors division, of which iShares was just a part. $13.5 billion was a lot of money and too much to pass up iShares is the largest issuer of ETFs in the world. Whatever the demand for capital investment, they have a product designed to meet that demand. And if they don't, let them know, and they will soon. They are available on most of the exchanges around the world as well. With 388 ETFs and 43 mutual funds, 
BlackRock Financial Management is currently in the lead with assets under management exceeding $2.3 trillion. Vanguard is in second, holding $1.9 trillion within 389 mutual funds, 529 portfolios, and ETFs. ITB is focused on the companies that are building homes around the United States. I think it's worth asking the question whether the construction industry has a strong future. And the National Mortgage Professional magazine thinks it does, projecting a 3.7% annual growth rate in 2022 and beyond. They are citing the Construction in the United States of America Key Trends and Opportunities to 2025 report that was published last September. $1,500 is a bit much for me to spend on a PDF file, though. I believe that we will see this kind of growth for a lot of reasons. The federal government's investment in infrastructure, the rise of the metaverse, as more people work from home and find ways at home to entertain themselves. I want to take a closer look at the components that make up ITB. The iShares website gives us all 49 components and they give a download file. I've taken that data and I've added the TGI score and the 10 year total return. I like looking at well-performing funds like this because it gives me an opportunity to find things I might be missing that I want to add to my list. For example, Trex Company, T-R-E-X, was not on my list but the 10-year total return is 2,900.45%. Even though it doesn't pay a dividend, I do have a strategy column for price growth investing, focused on the stocks that have exploded in price over the last 1, 3, 5, and 10 years. I added T-Rex to the data while working on this video, and it landed at 487 on the TGI ranking and 127 on the price growth ranking. Another home building company I was missing was Skyline Champion Corporation, Sky, which landed at 198 on the TGI ranking scores and 24 on the price growth scores. Here's a chart showing all of the stocks I added from this component list where the 10 year total return beat SPY. Two to highlight on this list are Eagle Materials and Louisiana Pacific Corporation both of which landed in the top 25. If those get into the top 10, we'll probably see a video about them. But for now, let's focus on ITB and what it might hold for the future. I'm going to go through the top 10 components of the fund, and I want to show their dividend growth, dividend history, and price growth, all from Seeking Alpha, and then fair value calculations on dividendstocks.cash, which is a website out of Germany that I love to use. They take the projections from analysts and present a graphic representation of the numbers. Not all of the stocks are available, but many of them are. So here's the top 10 components of ITB on their website. And I've broken down all the information that I want to show. Let's go through these one at a time. First one is DR Horton and the dividend growth numbers, I'm not going to read them off. I just want to show the general trends and the graphical patterns so we can see where things are going. Over the last 10 years, dividend growth has been fantastic. And the momentum, total return, loading, has also been really, really good. If we look at dividend stocks cash, fair value calculation, it's going up. I don't know what they're thinking here, but wow, that looks good. All right, next one is Lennar Corporation. Again, the 10-year dividend, they really spiked it in 2020 and 2021. If they can continue that kind of growth, that's great. Total return, let's come down here, look at five-year and it's kept up with SPY. So let's look at the fair value calculation of Lennar. And again, it has it going up over the next couple of years with dividends taking a nice spike. All right, next one, NVR. NVR actually does not pay a dividend, but <laughs> 
With that kind of price growth? Who needs it? No, uh, we always need dividends, but let's look at total return. It's well beaten SPY, easily. And according to the fair price, it, they're expecting the experts and analysts are expecting the price to continue to go up. Maybe all the way up to 7,500 at the end of 2023. That'd be cool. Next one is Polta Group. They've had a steady growth in their dividend since they started paying in 2013 after a break, looks like, starting in 2008. So that's nice. And momentum over five years is keeping up with SPY and beating it most of the time. And dividend stocks cash. Experts say they expect this to growth to continue. Next one is Lowe's. Dividend growth, very nice over the next 10 years, over the last 10 years. And the momentum, five years. It's beaten SPY since it dipped during the beginning of the pandemic. And experts are saying it should continue going up. Next one is Sherwin-Williams. Again, dividend growth over the last 10 years has been going up really nicely. And total return over five years has beaten SPY. That's what we like to see. And analysts say it should continue to go up again. So it has, it spiked up above fair value right now, but it, the fair value catches up by the end of 23. So we'll see what the price does. Next one is Home Depot. Again, 10 years of price of dividend growth over the last 10 years. And momentum over five. Since the dip, it has beaten SPY. And analysts say it will continue going up. Another one that does not pay a dividend right now is Top Build Corporation, but the ten, the five-year total return has beaten SPY significantly, and this one, they have projections going out to the end of 2025 on this one. That's looking pretty good. Last, next to the last one is Toll Brothers. They started paying a dividend in 2017, and they have grown it most years. Nice growth in 2021. Um, they don't have that on dividend stocks cash, but that's okay. Let's look at the last one. And that is Masco. Dividend growth has... It was a little slow, but then picked up. And under momentum, total return five years, it kept up with SPY. And projections are that it will continue to go up. I'll be honest, after researching all of these components, looking at these patterns, seeing these charts, my heart started racing. Based on what we see over the past decade and what I see in the projections for the next few years, the components of this fund, and therefore the fund itself, should perform very well over the next decade. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. As always, if you liked this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. The next stock on the TGI list is Carriage Services, CSV. This is a funeral and cemetery services company operating in 26 states. I'll be doing that research over the next few weeks. Along with this YouTube channel, please also like the Facebook page. And if you'd like to talk about the TGI ranking system and the stocks at the top, please feel free to join the Facebook group. I do these videos for fun, not profit. The profit comes from making good choices in investing and watching the returns roll in. Let's beat the market.